my dear friends once again welcome to sur sangam reflections from jaipur i would like once again to tell you that i am very happy about you and i would like you to give me a feedback and i would like you to share my reflection if you like them with others my main purpose is that all these values which i put forward should be helpful to us in our life today in the first reading we are talking about hospitality what is hospitality atithi satkar there is this prophet who is known there but perhaps he did not have much place to stay one rich woman notices him and therefore she gives him shelter she makes a beautiful room and keeps and she does get her reward because she is a person who doesn't have a child and the prophet tells your husband is old but god will give you a child she is very very happy about it in the gospel today jesus says that if you care for people and give them even a glass of cold water your reward will be great in heaven dear friends let us think of hospitality we in india are known for our hospitality people do know and even in villages where people don't have much to eat they are always good towards other people that is something that we have inherited from many many of our generations together and i'm sure that should be continued unfortunately we are becoming very very individualistic today there are no families who are living together we are all separate and there are big compound walls dogs are not allowed or we say other people are not allowed all this is good but sometimes it becomes a bit too much in other words we should not lose something good that we have received from all other people who have given it to them our families and relations what is exactly hospitality hospitality is to go out of our way to be helpful to someone who is in need of our help that is hospitality in other words it is not just i know you and you know me and therefore i call you and you call me so therefore aap mere ghar par khane ke liye aa rahe to main bhi aapko bulaunga isko hospitality nahi kehte hain often many things which we do is only for show like we have big weddings that we want to show to everybody see how great we are hospitality comes when we are helping people who are in great need and we saw people are migrants in from several countries and therefore pope francis told us that we have to go out of the way to be helpful to these people and he actually went to the places and told the rich people please be generous please be open these days again and again we are hearing about the boat people why do they go by that sometimes we get very angry now why are these people dying nobody wants to die but they are in terrible trouble there may be hunger there may be war there may be destruction anything that can happen like it is happening in sudan it is happening in ukraine and many many other places not everybody is moving just because they want to earn more they are mostly satisfied with what they have but then when they are in such trouble like we saw in during the time of corona people were fleeing from the places because they were afraid to die and what happened there were many of them were dying on the way and many were walking it was terrible my point is this that to be grateful to others and helpful to others is not easy it is easy for me to speak but it is difficult to do but one thing we must know that if i need help when i am in trouble then you also need help when you are in trouble if i feel that someone should go out of the way to give me shelter help same way it is for you too we all are interrelated in that sense we don't know when what will happen pyare bhai aur behno hum nahi jante hain kab kya hoga aur agar hum log ek dusre ko madad nahi karenge to kon karega aur hum ye nahi keh rahe aapke paas jo kuch bhi hai de do लेकिन थोड़ा बहुत तो हम दे सकते हैं किसी को शेल्टर दे सकते हैं किसी को खाना दे सकते हैं किसी को पानी पिला सकते हैं हो सकता है वो हमारे देश के नहीं है हमारे जाति के नहीं है 
हो सकता है हम उनको नहीं जानते हैं लेकिन हम जानते हैं एक बात कि जो दर्द में है उस दर्द को हम भी महसूस करते हैं जिसको हमारी जरूरत है वो तो तभी आता है जब उसे भूख लगती है प्यास लगती है और वो शरण लेने के लिए आता है तो इसीलिए गवर्नमेंट्स तो आगे होकर कभी कभी मदद करते हैं कभी नहीं करते हैं लेकिन हम लोग तो जरूर कर सकते हैं तो ऐसा ना हो केवल हम केवल अपने लोगों को अपना समझे सब लोग अपने हैं चाहे किसी मजहब के क्यों ना हो हम कभी कभी हमारे देश में देखते हैं मजहब के नाम पर सब कुछ हो रहा है ये नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि ईश्वर में एक ही मजहब है वो है मानव का हित मनुष्य एक ही जाति का है उस मानव के हित में हमें ईश्वर के संतान होने के नाते हमें आगे आना चाहिए प्यार से आगे आना चाहिए सही कहा है कुछ खोकर पाना है कुछ हम खोएंगे हमारा जो भी अपना है कुछ देना मुश्किल हो जाता है लेकिन उसी में सब कुछ है आखिर हमारे पास जो भी है वो हम मरने के बाद देखे तो नहीं जाएंगे लेकिन हमने जो भी अच्छा काम किया है जो अतिथि हम स्वीकार किया है अतिथि के रूप में किसी की देखभाल की है वो हमेशा रहेगा उस व्यक्ति के दिल में और ईश्वर के दिल में और हमें इसका फायदा होगा क्योंकि ईश्वर उसके बारे में सोचेगा और हमें उसको पुरस्कृत करेगा तो प्यारे भाई और बहनों हम ना भूले वी नीड हॉस्पिटैलिटी टूवर्ड्स ईच अदर ये हमारी धरोहर है हमारे पूर्वजों ने ये किया है हम भी करें और आगे बढ़े और इसमें ईश्वर हम सबों को आशीर्वाद देगा थैंक यू एंड गॉड ब्लेस यू